Top of the morning, everybody. You know what the plural of y'all is? Is all y'all. Okay. I wanted to show you a few different things in the new Final Cut Pro version. They just updated. So I am currently on 10.1.2. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple of really cool things that I've discovered with it. And a couple of little things that I'm getting a little annoyed by. Okay, so first let me switch over to my other screen. And if you notice, I have no libraries open. This is unusual. Um, the last version, you could not close every single library. It told you you had to have one open. Now you don't. So when you don't have a library open, if you hit open library, you'll get your um, list of libraries. Okay, and usually mine are sorted by date modified, but I'm going to sort it by library name because I want a particular one. It's this one here, and I'm going to choose it. Okay, so now I have a library open. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you was I'm going to open up my Finder, and let's see, where did I save that? It should be on Ang Video in Captures. Promos 1 and 2. Okay, I'm going to open these up in MPEG Stream Clip. And I'll bring MPEG Stream Clip over to this side over here. And what I'm looking for is a particular movie promo. I know it's a little squeezed, but that's just the um, screen size that this records for right now. I'm looking for some movie promos that were in here somewhere. Uh, they're probably back here. Yeah, there it is. Terminator Salvation. That's the movie promo I want. Alright, so I want that. Not set up that on so far. I don't care about that. Graciela. All right, we'll stop there. I'm going to export this in the settings that I like. I usually use a DVD Studio to Final Cut Pro preset that I've created. Um, now this is an MPEG stream clip. You don't necessarily have to do this, but um, I like to do this. It makes it a little easier for myself. Now just so you know, the way this preset is set is that it gives me Apple ProRes 422 compression, 29.97 um, frames per second, I always turn these on even though they don't necessarily need to be done. And same with internet interlaced scaling. Um, usually I leave it as unscaled, 1440 by 1080. Um, sometimes I'll switch it over here to the 1920 by 1080 and leave it like that. Usually this is fine, but I'm, I'm going to do this anyway. And then upper field first I use. And everything else is the same, uncompressed sound, all that. Um, but what this preset does is when I select it, it takes it and makes this active, changes the codec, changes the frame rate, and turns all these on, and then leaves this as upper field and leaves this as uncompressed. Okay, so I'm going to make this movie. I'll call it Terminator Salvation. And I will save that in my downloads folder for now. And while that is going, I will open up Promos 2. It's already done, so it's not a big deal. And scrub through this. Was it here? No, that was a guy getting attacked by a crocodile. Ah, here it is, Karate Kid. That's the one I want. Okay, let's export that. Now, I don't have to change the presets because it's already done. Sorry. Karate Kid. Okay, now you don't have to worry about MPEG Stream Clip all the time. I'm only using it for my particular purpose um, because I, I want to export these two promos. But this is what I want to show you. Before... I used to have to bring any new clips that I was dragging in from the finder. I had to bring them into here. Now, 
I don't. I can actually bring them right here and drop them in. And there they are. Now you could also bring them directly into your project, but then they don't appear in your bin or in your event. Um, so, so I like to drag them here. And I was always frustrated before because I could not drag them he here and it just makes so much sense. So now they fixed that, so that's good. Okay, now comes the annoyance. I'm going to create a new project. Okay, now let me switch screens and go back to my project. Now I'm over here on the project here and I'm just gonna drop this in using the letter E. Okay. Normally this isn't a big deal because I don't use this function all that often. But let's say I want to move this over a couple of frames and start with two frames of black. Well, I could use my arrow keys, but I got a problem. That doesn't work. It used to be that I could just hit it at any time. Hit the, not the arrow key, but the period and the comma. If I hit the period, it would move it over a couple of frames. Now, I have to have the position tool. So I hit the letter P on the keyboard, and then I can move it over a couple of frames. And that is a major annoyance. It's an extra step that I didn't have to do before. Um, but just to keep you guys aware that now that's the requirement. So for example, actually I do have to move this one over. So I'm going to cut this out and do that. Now when I go to the beginning and I hit this and I'm not on the positioning tool, it gives me an error. So I hit P for position, move it over two frames and I check the end and I'm at 15 frames, 15 seconds. Okay, so that's just a little annoyance. Another thing that I've noticed, there's some sweet new little text things in here. This is new. I've never seen that one before. Um, this one's new as well. So they've added some templates in here. Um, my daughter noticed some generators. She was going through and playing with the generators. She noticed this beam one. I don't recall this one. Clouds, this one's brand new. I've never seen that one before. Um, Drifting looks brand new. Glimmer. There's a whole bunch of them in here that are that are new. I think Rays is new. I'm not sure. That doesn't look familiar to me. Now, I didn't really go through the generators a lot. Look at this one. I didn't go through the generators a lot. So, you know, some of them that are familiar to me now might not have been familiar. I mean, I might have. Sorry. I didn't go through the generators a lot. So some of these might be familiar to you um, and not familiar to me. I think I've seen this one before. But um, those are just a couple of things that I wanted to, to bring up. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to add the little, I've done this before, I call them tag and bag promos. Um, so what I'm going to do is add this little sponsorship, sponsored by Cox logo. So that's why I called this Cox Communications. So I've got my sponsored by logo for promos that I've created here. I drop that in. And I want it to disappear right as this comes up. So right there. Now let's check the audio level. All right, so let's export that. Now remember, because I'm using an Omnion Media Deck for playout, I always have to do the XDCAM HD 35 megabits per second. Um, it gives me a good file size, 70 to 90 megabytes usually. And it's fairly quick as far as exporting goes. All right, so now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and duplicate this, and we will just change it to Karate Kid. All right, now I'm going to double click that and I'm going to select this Karate Kid clip and let's scrub through and find the first frame. Right there. And then we will drag this over and drop it down in here and just replace from start. And this should line up pretty well. Let's see. I think we actually can start this a little bit earlier. Let's start it right there. Give them a little more burn time. And we 
can end it right about there. All right, let's see my audio. Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan protagonize the. All right, let's export that. And that's it. Now, basically, this was this wasn't really a lesson on editing or tag and bagging or anything like that. I just wanted to show you the new little features of Final Cut Pro that just came out. Um, the ability to not have any libraries open, the ability to open a library right from the window without having to go to the file menu, and also the ability to drag um, new to import items by dragging them from the finder directly into your event in the bin window, not not over in the little the little list of library events. Um, also, the little annoyance that they have by making the position tool have to be useful um, or have to be used when when trying to move things over. Um, that's a little bothersome to me. Some people may love it. I don't know. Um, but I just wanted to bring that up so that you were aware of it. All right. And that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching.